Hi guys, Jason from Mr. Physio. Today we are going to talk about how eccentric exercises can replace static stretching. Eccentric contraction is a type of muscle contraction where your muscle is being lengthened while contracting. If I do a biceps curl, pulling the weight towards myself, that's called concentric contraction where your muscle gets shortened. But if I lower the weight, the muscle gets lengthened, but it's still generating power. That's called eccentric contraction. So let's compare this eccentric contraction with static stretching. Firstly, injury prevention. Second, range of motion. And lastly, human function. Let's have a look at some scientific evidence. This is one of the most recent studies on the effect of eccentric exercises. According to this study, a Nordic hamstring curl, which is eccentric exercise of hamstring, has reduced the number of hamstring injuries by about 50%. This is a pretty big study with more than 8,000 athletes involved. Therefore, I would say eccentric exercises are proven to be effective for injury prevention. On the other hand, stretching doesn't seem to be the same. Evidence suggests stretching doesn't seem to reduce the risk of injury. Instead, it can actually increase the risk if it's done right before the exercises. This result can be explained by one fact. The only difference between the two is whether you use the muscle or not. In static stretching, you don't use your muscle at all. But in eccentric exercises, you use your muscle while stretching it out. Why is it important? Because injuries normally occur where your muscle is being lengthened, where your muscles not able to control that stretching force being applied to itself. So with eccentric exercises, you're training your muscles to be able to control that stretching force, which can result in injury prevention. Next round is for increasing range of motion. This is another good study on the effect of eccentric training and it says uh, there is a strong evidence uh, that confirm increased muscle length induced by eccentric training. So it is proven to be effective to increase the muscle length. However, there is very low evidence on the effect of static stretching. They suggest its effect on range of motion is rather temporary. The bottom line was this, to increase muscle length, it has to be very intense stretching for a long period of time to make it happen. And third round is about whether it's helpful for human function. Let's think about it. Uh, in your everyday life, do you have any moment where you have to put your limb in a stretched position for more than 30 seconds? No. But we do eccentric contraction all the time. The perfect example would be your shoulder. Your arm weighs about 5% of your full body weight. And on top of that, you've got gravity you have to hold your arm against. To be able to do that, you have to use your muscles like rotator cuff. In this case, your rotator cuff muscles have to work against that stretching force induced by gravity and your arm weight. That's called eccentric control. That stretching force will increase when you walk or when you run because when you swing your arms, your arms gain momentum. That's why your muscles have to work harder doing eccentric control. It's not only for rotator cuff, same goes for deltoids, trapezius, and muscles around your shoulder. To sum up, I believe eccentric exercises can replace static stretching. It is proven to be effective by compelling evidence, and it is a better way of stretching. So I will show you more in my channel. I'll see you next time.